Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going to Garuda and getting the hard mode clear for the cosmetic emblem. Um, now to unlock Garuda you got to do the tower. I'm going to do a different video for the tower. But for this we're going to do Garuda. So the missions are deal wind damage, lightning damage, and kill with an LB. Um, you can also do like an easy mode clear, which just unlocks the Esper. We'll go over that in a minute. But we're going to do the hard mode clear for the emblem. And we're going to take a Rict friend. So this is the party we're going to be using to get the clear in. We're going to use Ace basically as our leader skill. Rict for all the damage. Also for dispelling, which is very important. We're going to be using Abigail for tanking and our primary breaker. Sylvie just for generalized support and then Secura for the Imperil field. You could also use the old Secura, Sage of Thunder, if you'd rather. Now, when we go in here, give me just a second, I'll show you. Some RP, not really worried about that right now. Okay, so if you look at Garuda's prompts up at the top, the, the boss will tell you how to do easy mode. So if you follow along the prompts right here, echoes in your mind, prove to me your strength, if you don't want to, prove submission. Offer to me until wind magic. So hitting the boss with wind magic, as the boss says, will keep the boss in like quote unquote easy mode. And if you keep doing what the boss says, he'll stay in easy mode and he won't turn on hard, hard mode. And on turn three, the boss will surrender. You will unlock the Esper. But we're gonna go for a hard mode clear because we want that cosmetic emblem just to show off a little bit. So. In order to keep the boss in easy mode and not attack us yet, we're going to do what he says. We're going to use Ace to hit the boss with wind magic. So we're going to tornado twice. We're also going to use burst twice to imperil the boss. That'll keep him in easy mode for another turn or two so we can get some free damage in. That also does the mission that we needed to do to deal lightning and wind damage. Now, Secura Dark Lineage will put up the Ramu field for the big imperil. Sylvie in the base form is going to do offense, um, let's see, bolt egg basket, and then we'll do compassionate knight. And then Abigail will do cover, and then both the breaks. And now we're going to do the shifted LB of Rick. Now, e e even though we're dealing, even though we're dealing damage and all, um, the boss will stay in this phase because we hit him with lightning and wind magic like he told us. So here we go at the top. Very well then. Next, Nail hit me with lightning magic to keep him in the phase. Now if we hit him with lightning magic this turn, he would basically surrender and the fight would be over. We don't want that, so we're going to not do what he says this time. We're going to keep just dealing regular damage. So Sylvie, on this turn, we'll go to the shift form. And we'll have Sylvie just triple cast Clever to fill LB gauge for the Ricks. And then Abigail can do, um, if you need it, triple cast bar for Aja. We only need a double cast, we're gonna do that, and then we'll just refresh drone cover. And now we're gonna go ahead and deal some damage. So we will do Ace, wait just a second, chain the Ricks. Now the boss does have an HP lock at 80%. So we basically skipped phase one by doing all of this damage during the boss's, um, you know, RP phase or whatever. And Secure can just guard for now. Okay, so because we didn't do what he says, we didn't use lightning magic, now the boss is going into the real hard mode. Also, we basically skipped phase one. So now we're in phase two after the first HP lock, which is a really convenient way to do this. It makes the fight a lot easier. So the boss puts up fields and all that starts buffing himself. Now we're going into the real mode. And because we skipped phase one by doing it all during the RP session, um, the boss has no buffs this turn, which is super, super convenient way to do this. If you can't push phase one before the RP is done, it's okay. You've got to deal with phase one. It just means the fight will be longer. Overall, the fight is still the same though. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, Abigail is going to not yet, actually. We want to we want to keep bursting as hard as we can before that barrier goes up. Once the barrier goes up, the damage is going to go down a lot. So we're going to go ahead and use Ramu again to replace the field. Always notice the field. The boss puts up fields very, very often, so replace it with Secura whenever that happens. Uh, Sylvie can just go ahead and triple Clever again. We want to fill LB Gauge for Rick, so we can just keep bursting, burst, burst, burst every single turn. Uh, looks like we're going to need a triple burst to go again. So we're going to go ahead and triple bar for Asia. 
to fill LB gauge all the way. And there we go. So we can use Ace to LB and then do a little bit of damage with Rick. The next HP lock is at 40%. So now, though, the boss is going to get his barrier. This is the irritating part right here. Physiomatic barrier. So right here, reduces damage. You basically can't hurt the boss while that's up. It's a 99% damage reduction. It can't be removed. Now notice the boss did reapply fields. So anytime the boss's fields go up, we use we use Rambu field. Uh, three turns until we can hurt the boss. So not much we can do at the moment. So we'll just use Absolute and Bolting to get some breaks from the boss refill Rick's LB. Um, we can use support hands on Ace for the Mirage. Uh, Abigail can use the SLB for mitigation. And Sylvie can go to the base. Again, we're just like setting up. Sylvie can do some, whoop, not that. Sylvie can do pedals, vines, and break immunity. Okay, so we're just basically just waiting for the boss's mitigation to wear off. And we're going to set up so we can burst really hard when that mitigation does wear off on turn, I think, six, maybe? Anyway, so as you can see, two turns of the mitigation is gone. So we're going to set up Sylvie for a nice, big burst. So we're going to go ahead and start that Ramping Thunder Amplify. So we'll do Marion's Blessing Lightning. And we'll do... I guess defense and clever it doesn't really matter that much, honestly. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Secura to do her LB. Um, Ace can't really do much right now, so we'll just burst and mirage. So we will burst and mirage. Uh, Ricks again. Um, yeah, two more turns until the boss can do anything, so the Ricks will just keep hanging out. And Abigail can cover and refresh her good breaks. Okay, again, some more attacks. I'll show you the gear in a moment, but Abigail is wearing very, very high wind and lightning resist, which is the boss's primary damage. Now notice the boss's buffs or barrier is going away next turn. So next turn, we can burst again. So what we're gonna do is secure a dark lineage. We'll go ahead and do triple. Let's go ahead and just burst the boss for imperil. Let's refresh thunder amplify. And, um, actually, let's, no, let's have Sylvie, let's have you do Bird Killer. So we're going to do Wing Shooting Boon on my Rick. Ace will go ahead and triple. We'll do Burst to Imperil. We're going to do Mirage, and we're going to do, let's make this count. Uh, Ricks, one of the Ricks are going to use Radiant Protection. That's going to AoE Perfect Dispel next turn, which is what we want. Sylvie, on this turn, can use her Shifted LB just to get us ready. And Abigail can Drone Cover, Shelga Protectica, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, honestly. It really doesn't matter that much. Anyway, here we go. So now the boss is going to summon minions and the field is going to go down. Okay. Here we go. And the boss has lots of buffs, as you can see. So do the minions. At the start of the turn, Rick will perfect dispel all of this. Also, we got Mirage on the boss. So give it just a sec. Ricked will auto-cast Perfect Dispel. Boom. Done. All the buffs are now gone. Okay. So they do have Mirage still, though. So we're going to use Ace right here to quad-cast. We're going to do Support Hand and Triple AoE Offensive Card to get rid of the boss's Mirage and all the Mirage from the little ones. Okay. So now Ricks are going to do their Shifted LB. This is going to kill everything. Before we do, though, the field. The field did go back up, so put the field back right there. And here we go. So we'd love to push the boss to 40%. Probably won't, but we can try. So let's go ahead and push the boss as hard as we possibly can, hopefully all the way to 40. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so the little guys did um, uh, right here. They, they, they use a suicide attack when they die. So what we're going to do, Abigail on this turn is going to Omni Cover, we're going to, and then AoE Break. So Break, 
and break. And then Sylvie can just refill LB Gage. So the boss is going to once again put up the barrier. That was the last HP lock, by the way. Now we're in phase, um, phase final. And there you go, really minor attack that turn. Okay, so the field is back. Oh, it's not back up actually. I thought it, I thought, I thought it was. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, yeah, the, the barrier. So we can't hurt the boss for three more turns, and then we'll go ahead and kill the boss um, in a moment. So the field is back up. So we'll go ahead and have Secura do the field removal. We'll put up mitigations again with Abigail. Uh, Rix can just go back to absolute and double bolting as we wait for this field to go away. Uh, Ace can just go back to putting up Mirage. And Sylvie can... I guess shift the LB, whatever. So the boss, the, so the, the middle field is stronger at this point. It's a 50% AUE wind and thunder amplify, but with Abigail, it's gonna be no problem. So the boss didn't even do anything that turn, which is awesome. Okay, so two more turns until the boss's buffs go away. So we're gonna go ahead and that, that, and start the ramping amplify. Uh, Secura on this turn can just do sparking bolt. Um, we can just repeat these, and Abigail can cover and keep the brakes up. Yeah, we're just waiting for the waiting for the field to go away. Super easy. Okay, so this is this is the little bit of an awkward scenario where um, the minions got summoned before we really wanted them to get summoned. Uh, honestly, it's fine. It just means we need to leave them leave them up for a turn, and it shouldn't really matter, honestly. It's gonna be fine. So the boss's barrier goes away next turn. So we're gonna use Secura on this turn to give Bird Killer to Rikt. One of the Ricks will do Radiant Protection, and we'll do this. Let's see here. We're gonna have Ace put up uh, triple offensive to get rid of the boss's buffs, and oh, let's make this count as not ready. Sad face. And then support hand, it's fine. Okay, go ahead and do this to the dispel. Uh, other Rikt can just... doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, Sylvie on this turn can go to the base form. Let's do defense... Vines and petals, and then Abigail can break everything. And Omni Cover is not ready, which is fine. Bar for Aja, whatever. Anyway, so the, so the little ones are gonna do some small attacks this turn. We're not that worried about it. We should be fine. Oh my god, that's like nothing. They killed themselves too. How awesome. <laughs> anyway, now it's time to kill the boss, basically. So the boss did, again, put up resistance buffs, but thankfully, because Rikt is absolutely amazing, he's going to perfect dispel them for us for free on the next turn. And there it is. It is time to kill the boss. So we'll go ahead and do the field first to get rid of the boss's field. We already got rid of the Mirage, so now we can do SLB with you, LB with you, LB with you. Um, yeah, we're good to go. That should be the end of Garuda. Potentially, we might actually not win. Oh, we didn't win. Okay, well, next turn, no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and Omni Cover and fill LB Gauge twice, because I want to kill the boss next turn. I don't think the field is going up next turn, so we're probably going to be fine. And clever three times. So a 12 turn clear, no big deal. And again, if, 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 you, if you can't push phases each um, each turn, it's... Oh, are you kidding me? The barrier again? What a jerk face. Why? I hate this boss. Oh my god, we have three turns that we can kill the boss. What an absolute irritation. Let me tell you. Okay, so we're basically just hanging out for three turns because this boss likes to be irritating. Lovely.
Okay, well, we gotta wait. We couldn't quite push the threshold all the way to the finish. I feel bad now. But again, as you see, the boss is relatively easy. We got Abigail. The boss just doesn't even do anything. Uh, two turns remaining. We can go ahead and Radiant Protection one of the Ricks just to get him ready. Come on, Rick. Stupid auto casting. We can just Radiant Protection. The rest of you can do whatever. We can do your LB. We can... Do your stuff. Abigail can do your stuff. And we just continue to wait. Alright, so the boss put up uh, the, the, the little ones again. No big deal. We'll just use Ace to get rid of them. We're going to perfect dispel them with, uh, with Rick. Let's see, Secura, Field, Ace, will Quad Offensive to get rid of the, um, there we go, uh, let's see, Radiant's not ready, Radiant's not ready, we can just guard them, next turn we can kill the boss, uh, yeah, so we're good to go. Abigail can just fill LB gauge. And we can use an LB on Sylvie. And there it is. There is the Garuda hard mode. 15 turns. Probably could have done it quicker. Um, you know, we, we missed a few thresholds on the bursting. Like, very, very, very simple. Just slow. A lot of attacks, but as long as your Abigail is bulky uh, and resistant, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so again, the boss does have buffs right here, but Rick is amazing. No buffs for the boss. So, there it is. Let's put up the field again. It's LB. Come on, Rick. LB. And there is Garuda Hard Mode. Apparently, we lost our imbue. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Oh yeah, we didn't cast Bolt Egg. We should have casted Bolt Egg on Sylvie. Whoops. Uh, whatever. We did all missions, and I'll show you the gear. So, Secura. Honestly, whatever. Esperfil, Braska Staff, Double Bayman Synergy. Other than that, who cares? Uh, just bulk. And um, we do have uh, some Wind and Thunder Resist on her. Abigail has 350 to Wind and Lightning Resist. So all that matters, honestly, because all, all the damage is elemental. So she took she took literally zero damage the entire fight. So 350 wind and lightning resist. That'll make you immune to everything in the entire encounter. There we go. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of winged hearts because they give you 62 lightning and wind. Um, and then, yeah, a card. And then uh, Sylvie. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Some Esper fills. We can spam that secure field. Other than that, whatever. Uh, Ace is max damage versus birds. Some resistance in the, the different slots, because whatever. And then Rict is max damage versus birds. And there it is. And then the friend right here is geared pretty much identical. And perfect. Perfect. There was the Garuda. Uh, and again, if you can't do a um, if you can't do a long clear, then just go in there, use wind and thunder magic, and the boss will uh, retreat. And damage breakdown. Uh, mine did get the killer, so you know the killers. Killers matter, as we as we know. And anyway, there's hard mode Garuda, which honestly was significantly easier than hard mode Ashura and hard mode Bayment at release. They both felt a lot harder on on release. But anyway, we got it done. See you in a bit.